Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Princess. Uh, we've been doing a good job so far. Uh, <laughs> except for that first girl. That first girl keeps getting us. I don't even know, like, what I'm supposed to do here <laughs> at that point. But we did, um, you know, we got killed. Lamau. Uh, we're back at the cabin, which is now whatever this is here this big door huge huge door huge tower like structure almost and uh we picked up the knife we're ready to go in there let's see who we're dealing with here oh that opens very slowly the door to the basement creaks open revealing a spiral staircase oh. it steps almost as deep as you are tall the smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Also, uh, did y'all know <laughs> the spiral scare? Sta oh, bleh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. The spiral staircase is actually designed perfectly for that, so that when you're at the top of the scare stairs and you're like, you got a sword and you're swinging down. So you have you have a lot more motion for your right hand to swing down and hit someone, but they have very little motion in their right hand. So that was kind of the defensive purpose of the spiral staircase, which is really cool, but not uh, just a rant, just a fun fact. OK, moving oh, on. Nobody cared. This is actually kind of nice. Ain't it? I like these. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yeah, you say a that every time. A booming voice rolls up the stairs. Oh, booming. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Holy shit. She sounds uh, <laughs> very much more you intimidating. You kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Yeah, for sure. Down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her okay you gotta shut up <laughs> you're gonna get me killed instantly should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude just a few minutes ago you were going on about how pointless everything was now you want to go down there he's simping dude voice of the simp is what it should it read doesn't matter what that little voice says he's not the one making the decisions though if his ramblings get you to the princess they get you to the princess yeah well uh, I apparently aren't making too many decisions here either. So, Mr. Narrator, you dickhead, let's go down. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort. Every really? step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. What the but fuck? Soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. Okay, it did not seem that big. Am I crazy? That seemed really like... It didn't seem like those were cliffs. Those just seemed like regular staircases. Oh my god, is she a giant? I just realized everything's pointing to her being a... Big old bitch. The princess yeah. towers over you, <laughs> almost glowing in the weak starlight. Her figure framed by a stained glass window. And she's floating. Her long hair billows around her and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. Okay, and only one, huh? Jesus Christ, how am I going to climb this tree and get this dagger in your heart, huh? The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. I'm going to try, dude. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Just your heart in my hands. You've Hopefully. brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Well, what the hell else am I going to do, lady? You're fucking 20 feet tall and you're floating off the goddamn ground. Like, I need all the tools I can get here. Drop it. Ugh. Uh... Uh, do I play along here? Shit, what's my best option here? She's going to destroy me. Like, let's be real. She's going to absolutely obliterate me into dust. 
Uh, no snoo snoo required. She's just gonna breathe in my general direction and I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna the drop it. The blade slips from your fingers and clatters uselessly to the floor. We're gonna earn we her didn't trust. Have to do that. I know we didn't. Shut up. And yet you did. Shut up. She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. He's whipped, bro. I ain't about oh, that. Oh, I understand what's going <laughs> on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. We're trying to earn her trust. Calm down, dude. Neil. Oh, God. Uh, no. But the words don't leave your mouth. Oh, fucking Instead, bitch. your legs buckle, and your knees hit the floor. Okay, well, that's a problem. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? Okay, that's a huge problem. <laughs> Why does she have control over me? The last time we met, you couldn't even scratch me. And yet here you are again, trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. Yeah, honestly, can we skip this one? <laughs> can we just can we just die here? Because uh, <laughs> this is going nowhere for us. Let's be real. Holy crap. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? I'm just trying to get to the next girl. Let's be real. <laughs> Speak. Oh, God. The last time we met, nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. Mmm, narrator's getting some stray bullets here. Then you shouldn't have trusted us. Oh, shit. There was nothing we could do to stop her then. And there's nothing we can do to stop her now. Okay. Uh, much as I hate this man, kind of kind of spitting facts here. <laughs> Let's be honest. He's being melodramatic, but yeah, we've been here before and she absolutely destroyed us. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? Yeah, that is a good fucking question. That's worrying. Whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. She knows why we're here. We're here to kill her, dude. She fucking knows that. Straight up. N no, I, w I won't tell you. Or you're supposed to end the world or remain silent. She did tell us to speak. So maybe remaining silent is the play here. Maybe we resist her a little? I don't know. We're going to try resisting her. I don't know what to do in this situation, but uh, probably resisting her is quicker to death, so. Do you think holding shut your beak is enough to stop me from prying it open? Do you think your skull can save your thoughts from being seen? What a line. Jesus Christ, that face too. Can can she do that? <laughs> Who fucking knows at this point? There's nothing she can't do. Okay, calm down. <laughs> I mean, she is literally floating, so uh, I got to give him points for that one. Meekness, despair, but a hint of something more. A small taste of stubborn resistance. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's fair and accurate. A grain in the storm of my cosmic wind. Enough to be felt, but not enough to matter. You can feel a grain in the storm? Anyway. And there it is. I am destined to end the world. She can read my mind. What am I fucking doing here? What is <laughs> this is the most powerful one I've faced yet. Holy crap. She is something else. She's on another level, dude. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. And honestly, with this power get up, set up, whatever, uh, I believe it 100%. The, the smaller ones, not so much. Uh, the big devil one, maybe a little bit. But this one, yeah, definitely. <laughs> the collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for alterations. All right, calm down. All right. 
<laughs> Just because you're going to destroy everything don't mean that you can remake it in your image, bitch, okay? It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. How about no? She's inevitable. God damn it. There's nothing else for us to do but help her. Maybe she'll be nice to us. Maybe? I ain't doing that. Hell nah, homie. Pledge yourself to her. Uh, let's see. What would I... What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. I have questions for you before I decide anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm not going to let you in the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let my uh, let you do that. I'm literally here to kill you. I guess we try to reason with her. I don't think it's going to work, bro. Especially if this is an explore option. This isn't about desire. Yeah, this figured. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. Okay. Fair. Uh, also, fuck you. Uh, let's see here. I... I mean, honestly... We know a lot of this, but also I don't care. <laughs> oh, hold up. Okay, I just got a text message, but it's just about food. Let me know if anybody wants food, but I already... Uh, I'm not going to help you in the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. Uh, I'm going to try. I say. Yep. Time to die. <laughs> Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. All right, I don't like that the music cut out there. That's uh pretty telling. That's unfortunate. Pick up that needle. Ah, fuck. Do it. It's what she wants. No objections here. <laughs> I don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses but then manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Okay, well... <laughs> it's all grayed out. That's great. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just pick you it reach up. reach forward and grasp the blade. I kind of was sort of planning of picking it up to begin with. Can I get them dogs with this feet? Or with this, <laughs> with this feet with this knife? <laughs> Stand! This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Dude, you are so naive and stupid if you okay, think this is yeah. going well. We can do that. We were probably going to stand anyway. Jesus Christ. You can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. Jesus. Okay, she's going to make me kill myself, isn't she? The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. Fuck, dude. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. Well, I am brilliant radiance. Yeah, you look pretty shadowy to me. I'll be real with you. But also, I look also pretty shadowy from what I've seen of my body and my hand specifically. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. Yep, figured. What? What? You're surprised by this? You retard? You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Bro, you have way too much faith in this dude. Ugh, 
damn it. It just says end this. It doesn't say how. Oh, we'll end this all right. Oh, you son of a bitch. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. <laughs> well, thank you for clarifying, sir. Hopefully. Oh, God damn it. Let me fucking... Son of a no, bitch. No, you can't just slay yourself. You're perfectly healthy and capable, and all you have to do is ignore her and do what has to be done. I literally don't the have a choice here. And the hand that wields it remain firmly locked in place until you change your mind and decide to do literally anything else. What about uh, Alt F4? Will that help? Look at you quaking against my will. An ant defying a god. Yeah, that's an apt comparison, I think. <laughs> it's <laughs> this pointless point. to resist. In the end, everything submits to oblivion. Actually, that kind of makes sense <laughs> because if we if we're able to kill you and we still get that there and we are kind of sort of helping Oblivion get these vessels. Well, I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about, guys. I'm just talking out my ass. Let's just get that. You're not the one resisting me, are you? There's something else in there. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. Is she going to fight the narrator? Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Okay, that's concerning. Is... is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me, she... You're a small one, aren't you? Oh my god, dude! <laughs> The narrator's in trouble! Oh no! A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. I mean, that's pretty accurate, just because he doesn't know we're looping. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you oh. are. You're mine. That advanced without me clicking. That was creepy. That was weird. Odd uh, choice of game mechanic there. Excellent voice acting. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. You bring the blade to your neck. You oh, slice the wow. soft flesh, severing veins and arteries. Your blood flowing freely down your body. It's a painful lesson in obedience, but the pain won't last forever. Wow, the fucking... The red and white text, uh, that's a nice touch. This sucks, unfortunately. <laughs> no, 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 no. When I see you again, you'll free me from my chains and deliver me to the destiny that lies beyond this place. We will. I promise. Bro, shut the fuck up. I know you will. God damn it. Everything, Everything goes dark, dark. And you die. Okay, chapter three. Uh, the apothesis? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path... Oh, let me guess. And at the end of the path is a cabin. <laughs> okay, I... Literally one guy and the uh, one line here and the guy's got me hooked. I am I'm in a contrarian. I'm in <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh God. Come on, man. We can see it right in front of us and besides we've been here like what five times already. Oh my God. How many times has it been? I don't even fucking know at this point. Is this like seven or eight or I'm not even keeping track anymore. I was earlier, but now it's just like, fuck it. <laughs> I think this is three. Yeah, no, buddy. Who cares? The woods are always the worst part anyway. Nothing ever happens in them. Well, I've had some good times in this woods. <laughs> not this one specifically, but I did get to see all those cabins and uh, I did have the evidence in my pocket that I wear pants for some reason, maybe? I care. 
Every single time you've been here, it means an entire other reality has been damned to oblivion. One reality is already an incalculable loss, and there is a massive difference between three and five. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit more. Feels like the numbers getting thrown around here are too big not to be abstract. <laughs> numbers like five. I can only count to four. Numbers like entire realities. At the end of the day, it's all just silly, isn't it? None of us can count to a whole reality, and he's asking us to think about the difference between three and five. You know what, man? You got a point. <laughs> it is silly. You're already starting to lose the thread. Just because you can't personally sum up the contents of an entire reality doesn't mean that the people inhabiting it don't contain moral value. If you have any sense of ethics left in there, if you have any moral compass, please, you have to stop her. Is the voice of the broken gone? Because if the voice of the contrarian replaced him, I'm down. 100%. 1000%. Don't you get it? Fuck! Might makes right, and she didn't even have to touch us last time to prove her power. Son of a bitch, dude. This game has me so hard. Like, it has me so good. It's ridiculous. So what? Just because she made us kill ourselves, we're supposed to submit to her authority without question. To be fair, it's not the first time I've committed suicide, so... I knew when to surrender to our better. You would have lost eventually anyway, and it would only have made her angry. It would only have made things worse for all of us. Yeah, but also you're kind of faking gay, so take that as you will. Oh, for the love of... Can you all please just get on with it? You're not making this any easier for yourselves. No, we are not. We are... <laughs> do we even have agency right now? We either do what she wants, or we do what he wants. Either way, we're listening to somebody. Yeah, true. And we are listening to the, the bitch at the end of time or whatever. So... This game really makes me feel like... <laughs> like I, the player, have no real choice. <laughs> Which is hilarious that this game is all about choices. But it's like, but your choices do matter. But the game actively tells you that your choices don't matter, which is hilarious to me. Please, nothing in life is a binary. Obviously, we find a third choice that nobody wants. Yeah, okay, I'm down. You all talk about choices and freedom, but there is no choice when it comes to the will of a god. Calm down. We don't even know what this one looks like. The last one was a god. That's fair. I'll give you that. I'm going to cut you off right there. She is <laughs> not a god, and the more times you fail, the harder it becomes for you to succeed. But the fact that you're still here means you still have a chance to pull this off. So, princess, dangerous, cabin, Slay now. The more you fail, the harder it becomes to succeed. I wonder if that's actually true. Huh. I wonder if that's like, uh... I wonder if that's like an actual, like, difficulty scaling kind of thing, where it's like, if you make the right choices, it makes it... Or if you make the wrong choices, it makes it the game harder. <laughs> How funny would that be? Okay. Uh, okay, so hold on. I have so many questions. I'm not going to the cabin until I have answers. What am I? <sighs> Look, I yawned. Uh, no, that's, that's a pretty fucking solid statement right As there. As you finish your inane question, oh, God the ground it. quakes beneath your feet. You feel an unyielding force pulling at you and your surroundings. The trees start to sway and then crumble, breaking apart as everything is drawn towards the cabin. What the fuck? Is this like a black hole scenario? Even the earth beneath you seems to shift, your feet unable to grip solid ground as you're dragged forward along with everything else. What the hell the is this? The end of everything. The beginning of something new. The moment we open that door, she will be free. 
Okay. Calm down. This is definitely scary. I get that. But you don't need to go that far. And also, what the hell is going on? Also, we're on the third act, so it should be looping again at some point. Maybe we'll see. Oh Any, god. Uh, words of warning. It'll be really good if at the end of the game there's a like a it just goes to like chapter four, <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah, chapter four. You already know everything you need to know. Why do you know that we know everything we need to know? You're very adamant about saying the whole script here every time, but not this time. All right, let's go. Fuck it. As you step forward. Jesus Christ. What is this? Explodes. Okay, well, I guess we win. You're flung backwards, violently slamming into a tree as debris rains down around you. Okay. Witness your better's ascension. You watch in paralyzed awe and terror as the princess emerges, her body unfurling from some vast space as she stands upright to face you. Okay, yeah. Uh, paralyzed in awe and terror is apt. Why didn't she change? That's my question. Also, my second question, what? The world bows to her. The ruined landscape shifts, trees and stone and the ground itself succumbing to her gravity, orbiting her like a great black hole. Hey, I mentioned that earlier, Lamau. Finally, the little bird has set me free. This is always how it was going to end. And this is always how it was going to begin. Okay. <laughs> There's a loud thunk from the tree behind you as something embeds in its shattered no bark. No fucking pristine blade. way. It's now or never. Is this a JRPG? Where the final boss is God? Hey, funny one. <laughs> Didn't you say something about a third option earlier? One that would make everybody unhappy? Well, we could always run away, right? To where? Yeah, and no, we can't, because we're literally being pulled in by a black hole. I don't know. Anywhere. You're all ruining the moment of her ascension. Have you no respect for the divine? No! You whore? Shut up! Ooh, now I do have that third, a third option. Embrace your new goddess, take the blade or flee. Fuck, what's the choice here? I really don't... I'm not confident in my ability to take that blade and kill her with it at this point. And I don't want to embrace her. So I guess fling's my only option? I'm not going to be able to. Fuck it. We run it. Coward to your core. Fuck you. Turn to flee. Leaping from the piece of floating debris and into the empty space beyond where the woods used to be. <laughs> this isn't cowardice, this is a calculated move. Yeah, of course. Sure it is. Fuck you. Can it be a bit of both? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a little afraid of her. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Are you so awestruck by my glory that you cannot bear to look at me? I think not. She's going to turn us around. As you fall, oh, no. a great force pulls at the back of your neck, violently yanking you away from whatever lack of destination you were headed towards. Now witness me! Okay. Yes, your grace. Shut up, dude. She turns you to face her. Oh, God. The scruff of your neck is held firmly between two giant fingers. The scruff of my neck? That implies I have fur or some kind, which I guess checks out, but also, what am I? <laughs> so much for running away. Yeah. Look, buddy, I tried, okay? I forgive you your transgressions, but my destiny is inescapable. Clearly. She's right. We don't even have a weapon. It's over, isn't it? Probably. 
And yet she still extends her mercy. We should do as she says. Why are you all resisting in the first place? Honestly, at this point, out of spite for you, you son of a bitch. Shut up. Just sit there and be quiet and I might have actually talked to her. Ah, oh, fuck you. Come on. God so much for spiting her. Spiting him it is. <laughs> God fucking damn it. This game is scripted to be me. Good. I can feel your heart opening to mine. Shut up. Her words are like a gentle tug, drawing you closer to the mountain of her body. Just reset me. You land softly on her shoulder. Her skin is warm and comforting. This really is the end. Oh god, that got quiet real fast. You know what this- I feel like Silver Surfer and Galactus. If anybody reads comic books. Or just knows that. <laughs> is it the end? We're still here. Narrator's gone, bro. Okay, everyone's gone. Uh, the night sky unweaves into a textured nothingness. He does not respond. Everything is gone but us and her. This is her power. This is where we're meant to be. Okay, is she gonna fight the hand thing? He's really gone. Huh, that's unexpected. Nah. But he would have said something by now if he were still here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Never knew when to shut up, that one. <laughs> it's part of why I liked him so much. I can't believe all it took to make him disappear was saying no once. <laughs> I didn't have a choice there, what bud. What happens now? Fuck if I know. This world is but an illusion keeping us from my ascension. A play of shadows dancing on the wall. Okay. What are you gonna do? The princess reaches forward into the textured nothingness and buries her fingers in its divine flesh. Her touch is soft. Oh, look at that. Wow, what the fuck? I didn't think that was reachable. I thought that was just like a... a backdrop. The flame may be snuffed, but the wall remains. This isn't just for my glory. You are a part of this now. Well, shit. Okay. See? This is nice. We're safe. She's helping us. She's helping everyone. We have no idea what she is doing. Is this like breaking the fourth wall kind of bullshit here? Is that what she's trying to do? Ugh. Did you see it was green? Her grip tightens and somehow you feel it. The pain sits at the limits of your comprehension. Like an endless sea of hands falling on you one after another after another before finally collapsing in on themselves. You lose yourself in the darkness. Did we get taken by the hand lady? You want to stop that you guys are hurting me! Suffer in silence. Scream in unintelligible agony. Hmm. I think I'll just scream. It will be over soon, little bird. And then your eyes will open. And all of this pain will seem but the fading memory of a distant dream. Yeah, I probably won't remember it if soon? you're just gonna reset. Soon? Does that mean there's gonna be more? Hopefully, I would like to have a couple more episodes of this. My only comfort is that he isn't here to see us suffer. He would love that, wouldn't he? Yeah, you're not wrong there. What's the uh, broken gotta say, fucking idiot? Ew, what the fuck happened to my cursor? Hold up. The texture nothing is ripped open, and with it, you are ripped open amid a sea of dissociative pain? You know what that says? Uh, you can feel everything that you... That is you pouring out into the ether. And you feel something, too. Anger and need to lash out and hurt that which is hurting you. Yes. Hurt her. Do something, anything to make it stop. 
What is my cursor there? I have no idea. No! If suffering is what she demands of us, suffering is what we'll give. Why would I doubt our god? You're no fun. It is so, so tempting to see what's on the other side of that great big nothing, but I think I'm going to lose myself if this goes on for much longer. Why do we have to be the ones going through all this pain while she gets all the benefits? <laughs> Fair point. Blasphemer. We have been given the gift of offering ourselves to our higher purpose, and you spit in its face. Literally the name of the game, brother. Make her suffer with you. Fuck yeah. Yay! Spaghettification! You are a wave of tendrils racing against themselves, and down the shape of a of your of an arm, you snap around it. Oh, bitch! We got her. Oh, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. Relief has a massive burden is lifted from you. You are in one piece, and you are in your body. Oh, you whore! Oh my god, we're doing it. Look at that green fart gas behind there. Uh, your eyes open before you uh, is the massive form of the princess, arms bound by the textured nothing, behind her a hole in the world leading into something beyond something beautiful. I knew it! That old windbag was hiding all kinds of secrets from us. There's a whole world out there! Mm, if that's an option, I'm fucking sending it, bro. I don't know what to say. It's just so beautiful. I mean, it's green, which, you know, my favorite color, so... Doesn't the mere sight make all the misery worth it? I don't know about that, dude. Eh, it's not all that. <laughs> God damn it. What did you do to me? I was supposed to be perfect. I was supposed to be a god. I was all of those things. And now I'm not. All because of you. Yeah, suck it, bitch. She looks up with futile sorrow uh, at the something beautiful that sits beyond. We could have had everything. If only you had given me a little more, we could have been free on the wings of my glory. Now we're stuck here. Forever. Well, you might be. I, for one, am perfectly happy to be stuck <laughs> here forever. It's more than worth it if that's the price we paid for taking her down a peg. Well, I don't know about that. I did uh, choose to not do this on several occasions. Oh. The whole man shut. As it closes, the tendrils loosen their grips, freeing the princess as they retreat. It's gone. No. No, how do we get it back? Can we try again? We'll suffer so much better if we get to try again, I, I promise. Shut up, you Sam. It's so cold here. If this wasn't enough, then what is? Yes, dude! Get shit on! But you don't get the opportunity to try again, nor will you ever. Uh, it's time to leave. Memories she returns. Gone. Where did Become she go? shackled to a divine Should being. Should we try and find her? A window to the unknown. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Okay, let's just, uh... Hold up here. Uh, of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. Okay, we've seen all this before. Let's just go up and look at it. This, approach the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Nah, brother. Yeah, don't look at it. I don't like that thing. Hey, that thing is me, brother. I don't want to look at us. Shut up. You d Now I'm definitely looking. Uh, the voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. How has it changed? Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you don't need to see what's in it. Oh, you withered. The decay. 
You've withered. Oh. I'm all goopy and stringy. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Oh, god damn, it's just her head. You're at the cabin. Approach her. What you got to say this time, lady? A growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. I love, I love this one long arm in particular. But also I love that they're holding her eyes shut. And I, if this was actually like fully animated, I would assume these ones are like moving her jaw up and down to talk like a little puppet, which is funny to me. Uh, you can't pee co a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How do you stand to be a contradiction? Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? Uh, what do you think of this vessel? Uh, you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? Uh, have you figured out what you'll want when this is finished? Do you still care what I bring you next? Uh, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? Or I can attack her. Uh, you can't be a contradiction, they don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. Okay, I just won't even try. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. Well, technically that's true, because I don't know anything of what you've been, so... Fuck if I know. How can you stand being a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. Fair. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Okay, weird. Yeah, they are moving her mouth up and down. That's funny. Uh, doesn't matter. Who cares? What do you think of this vessel? This one sits at the cusp of awakening. A new god waiting to be born. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Well, that's not good. Do not mourn her, for she has finally found her light. Yeah, I, I didn't. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? Did I ask this already? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Okay. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Well, don't know shit. Uh, let me see. How many more do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Okay. Fuck you too. All right, I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die, Lamau. Hey, bring the apotheosis to her. A terrifying and divine heart. You're on a path in the woods. Okay, I didn't actually read that, that uh, chapter one thing. Is that... No. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, very good. We killed a god. I mean, technically, kind of, sort of. Uh, we we got her to where she was going. The uh, the hands lady. So I, I count that as a win. Killed a god. How the fuck is that first princess giving us so much goddamn trouble when I literally just killed a god? Whatever. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just work here, bro. I'm just doing what I'm told. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, next time, we'll see what the hell else we can do with this first bitch. And then uh, we'll see what other types of ladies we can get to. I'll see you in the next one.